I have a single core processor that I'm using to do all of my video editing and I'm going to show you some of my tricks that I use to get faster rendering times when rendering video that's perfect for YouTube. I'm going to show you how to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Some of you probably were not aware of this, but there are profiles that you can download for Kadian Live to use in your video projects. Now I do realize this is on rendering, but I, want, I figured since this is part of rendering, I figured I'd show you this part. You can download new wipes or transitions. You can download new project profiles and then new title templates to get that perfect title for your show. But in rendering, there are a number of them that are available to you. And you can sort them by rating, what the, the, their age, the most downloaded. And if you're doing rendering for YouTube, just do a search for it. And as you can see, there are a number of them listed here. Now, the one that I used all the time was the YouTube 720 pixel optimized. And while this is a magnificent um, preset for rendering your video projects and creating small file sizes, it takes forever on a single core processor and that just will not do. Now I have a really fast high-speed internet connection so file size really is not a concern to me. I want a high quality video that I can shoot up to YouTube and I don't want to have my processor grinding away for several hours to do um, you know to do a 15 or 20 minute video clip that has some special effects applied. So let me show you, instead of using the 720p, now I've got some other presets that I'm using. If I hit the render button here, you will see that there are a number of them here uh, that are set up in here. Now the ones I like to use the most are the HDV, or High Definition Video at PAL, 720 pixels and that creates an M2T file. The beauty of the M2T file is you get a high quality picture and it is compatible with YouTube. Also, you could try the MPEG-4 and that does a nice fast rendering job as well. You could go into websites and there are some presets here, but as I said, when you're rendering for websites, make sure you have more than one core on your computer or you're going to be waiting till old age, huh? So I definitely say go with the file rendering and get that high definition video setting or the MPEG-4. Believe me, I have been playing with this and playing with this for some time. And I will admit, yes, a one hour video is going to produce a 1.8 gig file size, but it's only going to take about an hour, a little over, maybe about an hour and a half to render out one hour of video, which is great for a single core computer, versus the three hours to render it out in um, using one of the YouTube or web formats. Take my word for it. I do a Zoo Crew episode every week and they're close to an hour long and they tie up my system forever. I hope you guys found this pro tip useful. Mm -hmm.